I've begun restuffing the electrolytic capacitors in this Halicrafter set, and I thought you might like to see the techniques I'm using. First thing I had to do was to get them out of the set. They were all attached by steel bands. What I did to release them was I used a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. And carefully made a nick in each of these bands, trying to leave as much of the band intact so when I put the capacitors back in uh, they'll still hold maybe use a little bit of JB weld glue to uh, close it back up. The next thing to do is well I wanted to reuse these tubes if at all possible so I used a, a heat gun and a glove and uh, well I held the capacitors by their wires and heated up the tube which softened the wax and then I pulled these out while holding the hot tube uh, with a gloved hand. Some of them came out pretty easily like this guy and this guy. Some of them not so much, in particular this guy which was tar filled uh, made quite a mess, you can see all the tar oozed out here. Um, so that one uh, not only made a mess but it also the, the tube ended up being in pretty rough condition so I'm not going to reuse this. The, the tars had melted, really soaked into the cardboard. And this one was kind of crappy looking to begin with because I think the electrolyte had leaked out. That was the one that was down here in my earlier videos. So what I did was I made a new tube, which I've done before. And in this case, it was especially easy because I went to my stash of cardboard tubes. I say toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls. And in this case, I think it was some, some Christmas paper wrapping. And, lo and behold, it's exactly the same diameter. So all I had to do was carefully cut a length, exactly the same length, cut a piece of corrugated cardboard, you know, I traced around and then just used these pairs of scissors and cut it out and then used a little bit of wood glue and glued it in the end, and there we go. Here are the two new capacitors that will go inside, and I got very lucky because they just happened to slip down right inside. And, uh, and then I'll attach some new wires. Here's the old ones. Because it's two identical sections, they used the uh, red wire for both, so there's a red, a red, and a black. And that's why it's nice to retain the old cans, if at all possible. Because, well, it's really hard to read now, but it says red, and it has 100 microfarads, 160 volts, black, common, negative, and so on. So when I hook these back up, I am going to follow the same color coding convention. I've got some red, yellow, orange, black wire here. The reason that's nice is in case I or someone else ever needs to work on this set with this new capacitor in, in place, they can still go by the color coatings which are on the schematic. Or if I ever use these old cans, they still match up. And you know the red wire is, goes to one section, the yellow to another, and so on. These two guys I think I can reuse. These were filled with wax. These were the ones that came out pretty easily. It's still quite legible. Red, 30 microfarad, black common, blue, 30 microfarad, yellow common, and so on. Same with this one. This one was waxed at both ends, so now I have to, <laughs> I'll have to plug up both ends. This guy, eh, I still haven't decided. It's also got pretty burned up and melted and kind of nasty looking. Um, so once I get the new capacitors in there and hook up the wires and have these down in here, what I'll do is I'll try to use some of this old wax and uh, plug the end back up. This old wax is really nice stuff because when it hardens it's much harder than say uh, modern beeswax or candle wax and it melts at a pretty high temperature too. It's nice stuff to have. Otherwise uh, hot glue or caulk, you know, just, just to plug up the end and keep things held in place. And then as a final touch I'm going to get some paint, uh, maybe like, like a yellow ochre and uh, paint up the tube so it looks more like this. And as a final, final step, I have some uh, special paper that you can print onto using an inkjet printer or laser jet. And you can make your own decals. It's called water slide decal paper. Uh, basically you print onto it and then you spray a couple coats of um, clear acrylic wait for it to dry, cut them out using just like a water slide decal, put them in a little bit of bowl of water, they slide right out, then you can apply them to the side. 
Uh, this one will be quite easy to do because it's a very simple font. It's just like Arial, I think, and uh, I'll just replicate this printing. This guy will be tough because this has a corporate logo of the Michael Mold Corporation and so on. So uh, that's why I'm still on the fence. I may try to retain this one just for the nice graphics, which, uh, yeah, yeah, if you have Photoshop and you have some artistic talent, uh, I'm sure it is possible to replicate that, but my skills aren't so good. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, i got to do four of these. I don't think it'll take too much longer. And then uh, I can move on to the rest of these caps. Here we are a little bit further along in the process. Uh, what I did is I soldered the three, ca oh, sorry, the two caps together and uh, built up a little shim of cardboard inside there and put some foam on either side to hold them in place. And then I made another little end plate here out of a piece of corrugated cardboard, poked three holes through it and ran the leads through it. I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up a little bit. I'm going to slide this down and glue it in place. And once that sets up, I'm going to take a little bit of this old taffy-like tar, break off a chunk and melt it around to seal it so uh, when it's done it'll look uh, like the old wax did. And then it's ready for painting. Okay, the old wax I melted into the end of this cap is hardened nicely. I then painted up the tube using this uh, acrylic yellow ochre paint. I think it's a pretty good match for the uh, old can considering it's soaked in with tar. <laughs> uh, I then uh, read the old text off as best I could. Uh, Industrial Condenser Corp, uh, Chicago, Illinois, and so on and so forth. And matched the font as best I could using Microsoft Word. And I printed it out onto this inkjet clear water slide decal paper. Uh, and the instructions indicate that then I painted it with a couple coats of this acrylic crystal clear. And now the idea is that I can soak it into some water and apply it just like a model decal onto this cardboard tube. And uh, once that dries, I'll coat the whole thing with a couple coats of this and uh, I think it'll be done. Here we are a few hours later and I've got all four caps done. I was able to reuse the old cardboard tubes for the other three, otherwise same process. Put the caps inside, run new leads out following the old color coating, and then seal the end with the old wax. Now it's simply a matter of remounting them in the old clamps and hooking the wires back up. I think the rest of this set will be relatively easy, but we'll see. That's all for now.